Donald Trump is smart enough to know how stupid he looks and sounds, that when he looks and sounds stupid, he'll blame it on artificial intelligence. You following that? The record speaks for itself. After yesterday's hearings where Democrats destroyed special counsel and MAGA boy toy Robert Herr. In your investigation, did you find that President Biden set up a shell company and covertly paid $130,000 in hush money to an adult porn star? No. Did you find that President Biden directed his lawyer to pay $150,000 in hush money to a former Playboy model? No. In your investigation, did you find that President Biden called the Georgia Secretary of State to demand, to demand that he, quote, find 11,780 votes? No. Jerry Nadler destroyed Tiny Finger's grasp on reality with this. Orban, did ever, anyone ever hear of him? He's the leader of Turkey. By the way, they never report the crowd on January 6th. You know, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, is in charge of security. Three years lady, ladies, lady. How about that? Did you actually have a one-on-one -on -one with Comey then? Not much, not even that I remember. I don't like Bicinos. We have languages coming into our country. We have nobody that even speaks those languages. They're truly foreign languages. Nobody speaks them. Saudi Arabia and Russia will repeat your call. Oh. I have a really good memory. Your next wife was a woman by the name of Marla Maples. That's right. Do you recall what years you were married to Ms. Maples? Um, it's called like up here and it's called memory and it's called other things. So you don't remember saying you have one of the best memories? I, I don't remember that. And Putin, you know, has so little respect for Obama that he's starting to throw around the nuclear war, Terry. You heard that, nuclear. We have to win in November or we're not going to have Pennsylvania. They'll change the name. And I talked to Putin. A lot. Did you, ask, did, you ask, did, you did you ask him that? I don't remember that. I, you know, I saw that this morning. I don't remember asking him that question. I have a good memory and all that stuff, like a great memory. For 20 years, they were fighting ISIS. I defeated ISIS in four weeks. And we did with Obama. We won an election that everyone said couldn't be won. I'm not cognitively. And you know what? When I am, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to be the first people. Now, Donnie Sniffle says the videos where he looks and sounds exactly like he looks and sounds is actually artificial intelligence. No, no seriously, he tweeted this. The Her report was revealed today, a disaster for Biden, a two-tiered standard of justice. Artificial intelligence was used by them against me in their videos of me. Can't do that, Joe. <laughs> so wait a second. Sleepy Joe can't find his pants, but he can manipulate advanced algorithms to make you look like a demented old fool. But you are a demented old fool. Here's the thing about Trump when it comes to highlighting his massive incompetence, his complete lack of morals and decency, his cruel attacks on friends and associates. You don't need advanced software. Biden doesn't have to cheat. All he needs is a camera and a microphone. Are you, are you stupid? Fake news. That's not funny. Now, that's not to say that AI isn't a worrisome tool for character assassination. A few weeks ago, a New Orleans magician created AI synthesized Joe Biden sound bites. It was pretty weird, but also a clear sign of what's to come. My fraudsters can take three second recording of your voice. I've watched one of me on a couple of times. <laughs> I said, when the hell did I say that? <laughs> Later on, those manipulated voices were used in robocalls. You know the value of voting Democratic when our votes count. It's important that you save your vote for the November election. We'll need your help in electing Democrats up and down the ticket. Voting this Tuesday only enables the Republicans in their quest to elect Donald Trump again. Your vote makes a difference in November, not this Tuesday. If you would like to be removed from future calls, please press two. But this is just the beginning. The line between artificial intelligence and humans is thin and getting thinner. Naturally, some people are gonna do bad things with their ability to fabricate sounds and images that are practically indistinguishable from the real thing to the human eye or ear. But as this election cycle moves forward, you can easily see the distinctions between Biden and Trump. Trump will attack Biden with fake sounds and images and stories like the State of the Union response from Pouty Funkwinkle, who lied about the rape victim story. She lied while trying to make the story seem like this woman was raped in the U.S. by gangs because of Biden policies, when in fact, she was raped by gangs, not in the U.S., but in Mexico under Bush. And rest assured, every detail about it is real, except the year where it took place and who was president when it happened. Now imagine the Republicans with advanced AI software. Is there any depths they would not go to win? The fact that Trump is bringing this up shouldn't surprise you. Remember Billy Bush grabbing by the pussy videotape that Trump apologized for? I've never said I'm a perfect person, nor pretended to be someone that I'm not. I've said and done things I regret, 
and the words released today on this more than a decade old video are one of them. Well, after considering the level of intelligence of his followers, Trump had a change of heart. Also, President Trump now questioning the authenticity of the now infamous Access Hollywood recording in which she was caught in a vulgar exchange in 2005 with Billy Bush. In the off-camera conversation, Mr. Trump was heard bragging about his ability to grope women because he's, quote, a star. You're a star. They let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Grab him by the <laughs> I can do anything. Sources tell ABC News the president has repeatedly questioned the tape in recent weeks and to a Republican senator earlier this year. Here's the thing. People are gullible. And Trump supporters? Well, let's go down the list of stupid that Trump shovels out to his followers. He lied about Obama's birthplace because he was black. He said that he won the 2016 popular vote in California because three million illegals illegally voted for Hillary. But he was just getting warm. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period both in person and around the globe. He lied about the size of his inauguration crowd compared to Obama's. Now, do you think with AI, he wouldn't have changed that picture of that crowd? He lied about everything from Ivermectin to Zelensky, from the Georgia phone call to the election. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes. And we had sound and video of all those conversations, but Trump was undeterred. He told his followers they weren't hearing or seeing what they were hearing and seeing. Now he can augment his lies with AI. Here's a photo the Trump team sent out. Now, most of us laugh, but when you can attach images and sound to your lies, it takes on a whole new meaning. Check this out. Can you spot the deep fake? Prime Minister Justin Trudeau recommended one of these books. Which one? The book that I got excited about reading through. It's called This Can't Be Happening in McDonald Hall. It's called How the Prime Minister Stole Freedom. Yeah, it was the last one. The Prime Minister never said that. Okay, round two. If you can see, I hope to finish this talk show one day. Will the fake Morgan Freeman please stand up? I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. How about these videos of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis? Did the presidential hopeful say this? I'm the only one that could possibly compete with Donald Trump. Or this. I took some very bad advice. I did some very bad things. The last one is fate. Made to make you think that DeSantis was dropping out of the race. Now, Trump's 30,000 documented lies over the last three years are easy to rebuke. They're called facts. The election was stolen, and Italian satellites and Venezuelan machines destroyed Trump's votes, and people ate that shit up. Imagine if the images you just saw were spread around. We can pass laws, but the internet is outside those laws. And we all saw what happened in 2016 and 2020 with Facebook and Twitter. Now Musk has allowed Trump, Alex Jones, and white nationalists back on and the percentage of people who don't believe the Holocaust occurred or that we landed on the moon or that we even had slavery, well, they're going up. So now Trump is saying he's a victim of AI. Well, that's dangerous, but it just happened. Hell, can you even be sure that this is me talking to you? Ow. Yeah, it's me. Donald Trump has littered the internet with pictures of him looking all macho and fat Donnie loves it. But the funny thing about AI is it doesn't change the truth because Donnie, he's not a macho man, but instead a little piglet whose clock is ticking. The Department of Justice may not get him, but karma will. It might be in a courtroom or he could stroke out one day while taking a dump, but it's coming. And there's nothing artificial about that. Am I wrong? Damn right. Yeah. Tick tock. You're in a lot of trouble, Donnie. <laughs> Follow, like, and hit notifications as Really American keeps you up to date on the latest Republican cult lie in this very important year. For Really American, I'm Chip Franklin.